50 shot, 30 shot, hit you with your fucking block. I bet I make your heart stop. My clip and shoot out 50 shot. And when I shoot, I never stop. We on the block, we keep the block. If a nigga move, hollow tilt at your fucking top. I'm fucking these bitches, I'm dodging these snitches. I'm counting on reaching my trigger finger itching. Chop up a red as in glock. The town don't like this on the dot. My nigga, we cut. It's DJ Jackie Dumpson, check it out. Because the 14 year old Memphis baby savage, okay, and apparently he's 14. He told me he was 15 and a quarter. Now the news is saying he's 14. Now you guys should know the one. He's the one that says he keeps a 30 in his pocket, no lacking. He's in the field, bought a drill, fuck the other side. That's the kid. Now, he got a song out right now called Fuck the Ops. Now, unfortunately, and by the way, let me just get his name right again. It's CBG, Big Baby, Boss, CEO. Now, unfortunately, he was actually bagged by the cops, and he was detained at a juvenile detention center at a probation hearing. Now, I didn't know even this kid was on fucking probation, but he was booked because he supposedly violated his probation. Now, he's going to be staying in the juvenile detention center until at least... August 20th, then that's when he'll have his next hearing. We'll figure out what's going to happen with him. But now, as I said, I had no idea. No fucking clue this kid was on probation. He's like 15. Now, here's the thing, right? I mean, first of all, his real name is uh, Jonathan Brown. Not that long-ass name I told you before. And just let me tell you this. Because, um, listen, I I've, I've said before, I've given my warnings to those around him. I'm like, hey, listen, the hip-hop game might be appealing. You might see the money. You might see other guys like Chief Key, Fredo Santana, Lil Reese, Lil Durk, and Lil Herb, and everybody else. You see them getting a lot of money, so you think if you do the same things, you have the same luck. No, it doesn't really work like that. So I warned the people around him, whoever his managers were, listen, somebody got to be controlling him because if he's literally 14 or 15, someone has to be in control. Now, apparently his parents and his big sisters have been in and out of the legal system or the penal system. And basically, we don't really know who his guardians are, right? Now, check it out, because um, I've either gotten two extreme reactions when I did a video about him, because you know how I do it, man. Listen, I talk about something, even if it's fucking atrocious, even if it's somebody that got killed, even if it's something crazily demonic. Come on, you guys know what I do, okay? I mean, I'm going to make it entertaining. However, I always give you guys at least something I'm like, yo, this is what I advise you to do. Now, I can't force you. I advise you, because at the end of the day, man, I don't really wish bad for nobody, Right? Now, here's the thing. I get like two reactions when I talked about this kid. There's one reaction that says, damn academics, you old hate and fuck, okay? Now, the funny thing is that, listen, kids these days are so used to living a short life that me being in my 20s is actually really old. Me being 20, listen, me hitting 20 is a motherfucking old man. Believe, hey, I don't know, okay. Now, secondly, some people say, damn academics, why aren't you talking about blah, blah, blah? Why are you giving this kid a platform? Why do you want to really promote this? And I'm like, huh? Now, that's where the transparency comes in, okay? When I do these stories, right, about 100 people send me a particular story. Now, when I'm going through them, I'm telling you, at this point, I'm getting a 500 emails a day, okay? With different stories, I could do, listen, I would never sleep, never really have any time for myself if I did every single thing you guys sent me, okay? So, a lot of times... A lot of people send me a particular story that's interesting to a lot of people, and I talk about it, I give the report, and I give my opinion, okay? And as I said, I can't get to everything, but I try to get to the most. The ones that are really popular, I try to cover those, because I'm here to satisfy you guys, right? Now, 100 people sent me this video. It sent me the video of him in the music, and I was like, whoa, I mean, I've seen him with the guns and all that before on Instagram, and even on Twitter, but the music video made it so much real, I told you, they had more guns that would be necessary to arm a local army. Now, let me tell you this, because I said I'm being transparent. The kid, his name is CBG, Big Baby, CEO, Boss, or whatever, he sent me the video too. I mean, him and his team sent me the video, and this is what they said. I wish I could find the DM, but they said this, okay? They didn't say promote me, okay, because the video was already getting views. What they said, they said, listen... Talk about me, okay? And I don't know what, what they really meant, but I, they know my personal stance, and they know I don't really come in and be like, oh, yeah, this is so popping. Let him. No, no, I always say this. You know what I mean? I give the story. I said, this is kind of shocking. I really wish that these people know what they're doing. But for you guys, what do you think? This never ends well. I give the same story. I didn't give him a cosign like, yo, he's the man. No, no, no. I said, this is coonery. This should stop. 
Somebody needs to fix it. But I guess if you guys want to be on the side of, oh, he's getting a chance to get out the hood, whatever. But I hope there's somebody in the background pointing out this is only entertainment. This is not real life. And really gives him a wake-up call off camera to say you could portray a life or you could kind of um, do the rap without doing it all the way. Okay, now, that being said... I mean, the video went up, and I have no idea why his probation got pulled. I mean, it, it could be the videos that's been up. I mean, he put out a video. It could be anything. But what I'm saying is this, okay? I gave warnings, okay? Even with that, they still approach me. And not only them, other people who love this kid and love the fact that he's a young kid waving around a gun. I did a story. People liked it, or people didn't like it. And eventually, his probation got revoked now i don't know why but we will find out he'll be out on august 20th now there's a lot of people saying free cbg or whatever whatever it's like a common theme among so many people i'm gonna tell you this man i really hope somebody steps into this kid's life because i don't have a problem with him trying to get out the hood a lot of people aren't fortunate enough where they could get out and just be like oh they're a doctor okay but it doesn't mean you have to always go about it by really straddling that line of going to jail or getting killed so you guys get in the comment box as i said it's not a good situation if he's in a juvenile detention center i mean he might be liking it because he could come back out and say he did a bit what am i going to do then could i force him to do something i can't okay and now the thing is he's he's and, and by the way just to frame it, he's on every fucking block. He's on Bossip, he's on World Star, he's everywhere. Okay, so don't don't be like academics, you're making him famous. No, no, no. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe, man. Hey, what could we do? What could we do? I'm out.